Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about list comprehension. Now, most people are aware of what list comprehension are, but they don't actually know the proper ways to use it or some of the other methods that can go with it. So that's what I'm going to be showing here. So anyways, list comprehension is a faster way to build a list, not computationally, but just in terms of writing lines. So for example, if I'd like to build a list X here, and let's say I want it to have the value zero to 10, well, rather than creating a for loop and saying for I, in range 10 and then appending values in there from the for loop, I can do that directly inside of my list right here. So I can do something like I for I in range 10. And if I run this now, you see we get a list that goes from zero to 10. So essentially you put here on the left side what you want to be populated in the list. Then you do the condition here, which is for I in range 10 and that will run change I 10 times and populate the list. Now, most people know this, but it gets way more advanced than this. And you can even add conditions afterwards. So you can do something like for I in range if I modulus two equals equals zero, which means you're only going to get even numbers in your list here. So now we get zero, two, four, six, eight, and so on. Now we can do more conditions and we can add even more things. So I can do something like I comma Y for I in range 10, for y in range 20. Now this is going to look a little bit ridiculous, but you guys get the point here. What this will do now is build us every single combination of these two for loops. So essentially every time this loop runs, this loop will run, which means we're going to get 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, and so on. And then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and all of that. So it's a fast way to build lists and you can do some cool things with it. Now let's say we don't want to do something necessarily like that. What we can do is also put a list inside of a list. So I can do a list for I in range 10. If I print this, now we get a bunch of lists inside of this list. And then inside here, I can put another for loop. So for I in range five, and maybe I don't want to have I, maybe I don't want it to go counting up from one, two, three, four, five. Well, I can just put zero for I in range five. And if I do this, then I get a list full of zeros. In the same sense, I could do something like true for I in range five, and then I get a list completely full of trues. Then I could put another if statement inside of here, and you get the point, it can go on infinitely. Now I could even do another list here and keep building and keep building and keep building, and that is kind of how list comprehension works. So this is very useful, it can save you a lot of time, and especially when you're creating multi-dimensional lists, you just need to set up rows and columns, it's very fast to just do something like this, where you have you know zero for I in range five, for I in range, let's say five, and that will make you, you know, a five by five grid of arrays here that you guys can use in access. So anyways, that has been list comprehension. There is some more to this, but this is the basics and what most of you will end up using in everyday programming. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. And again, let me know what you want to see in more Python quick tips.